Today is a very special day. I'm finally going to open my copy of Time Crisis Rising Storm. Yeah, it's a PAL copy, but it is brand new. I'm pretty sure this is the same game we got out here, except for it's got this Peggy and not an ESRB rating thing. Anyway, the reason I'm going to open this, like, yeah, I have those move controllers, but today at the flea market, I got a GunCon 3 with the sensor. I don't have the strap, but I have the sensor. I can jerry-rig it. I can use duct tape to get it on the side of the TV if I have to. So it's time. Let's finally open Time Crisis Rising Storm. It's our trusty pocket knife. <clears throat> All right, I'm committed at this point. She's, uh, <laughs> she's open. All right. This game's really rising in value, guys. The only version I could find affordable was this PAL version. This was $33. Moment of truth. Do we have, I'm hopeful for a manual. We at least should have that. And we do. We absolutely do. Yes, sir. Look at that. I need a couple of these right here. I heard there's, a, you know those ones they made for the Wii? They made some for the 360, the uh, Nyko, the Nyko Perfect Shot. I heard the ones for the uh, for the 360, for the PS3, the Nyko Perfect Shots for the PS3. I heard those things are banging. If you have one, let me know in the comments. If you're, if you're going to sell one, also let me know. I'll buy one. I know they're kind of pricey, but whatever. Here's the, the manual. Whatever. I'd have got a Japanese version of this game if I had to. We have some inside cover art there. And the disc. The disc with the, the Peggy, which doesn't bother me at all. So yeah, I'm going to probably live stream this later, but really excited about this. I feel like I just broke the case. God, this Blu-ray case is open and closed weird sometimes. But yeah, there we go. Brand new cut. Well, it's used now. Time Crisis Rising Storm. Namco GunCon 3 with the sensor. Let's check it out. The best way to do this would probably be to tell my story with Lycon games on the PS3. So I was aware of this Time Crisis game, Time Crisis 4 on the PS3. At the time, I didn't really know much about the move controllers. I knew that you could use them on a PSVR because I owned one, uh, had sold it, ended up selling that. Sold that around the same time as I sold my Wii U. You know, just weren't consoles I was using a lot of. I was thinking about keeping the Wii U for DS emulation, but never got around to doing that. But anyway, so I'm aware of this Time Crisis 4. I'm aware of this uh, this gun that you can use on an HD TV, And I also was vaguely aware that there wasn't a lot of games that you could play on it. But I ended up seeing it at a game store. It was a, it was a store called Regen. It was a couple years ago. Um, so those of you that watch some of my videos, I'm sure you're aware of Regen and the White Marsh Mall, right? So I go in there and they have, it was like up on the wall and it was in a box and it was Time Crisis 4. And uh, I knew about the Gun Con 3. I even knew about the infrared sensors that you needed for your TV. I was vaguely aware. I just knew that there was something you needed for that gun to work. And uh, it was all in the box. And they wanted $50 for this thing. And I'm like, ugh, you know, I, I do want that. It sounded real appealing to, to play this Time Crisis game uh, on an HD TV you know, a few years ago. But I wasn't willing to spend the $50. So I didn't do it. And, you know, a couple years go by, the things, you know, it was rare back then. It's like super uncommon, at least for me, it is. Hey, let me know in your area, you know, how common are the Time Crisis games, Rising Storm, uh, the Gun Con 3, you know, even the move controllers and the guns, you know, how common are they in your area? Let me know in the comments. I'll go over how common all that stuff is in my area here in a minute for those of you that live, you know, somewhat in my area on the East Coast. But, um, so I saw Time Crisis 4, saw the Gun Con through the box, everything, didn't buy it. Years go by. It's even rare. You know, at this point, I, I'm wanting to, to kind of play this thing. I was thinking about it, you know, here and there. Every couple months, I would think about it. Then Gaming Off the Grid dropped a video, God, a year ago, maybe two years ago, about light gun games on the PS3. Now, to this date, that's probably that's probably the, 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 the most... Uh, the wealth of knowledge, so to speak, uh, other than going straight to blogs and stuff on the internet, on YouTube, that tells you, you know, what kind of stuff to look for on the P the PS3. Yeah, I think there's like an MJR video, um, not as good as the uh, Gaming Off the Grid video. And there's also another video that's not as good that's kind of decent, goes into some of the history on Time Crisis. It's, it's a uh, My Life in Gaming Time Crisis video. It just goes into the, the Gun Con 3 and stuff like that, but... Yeah, so the gaming off the grid video, I was going by that. So, and I end up you know, months go by, and 
I tell the guy at the flea market, yeah, I'm trying to, because I got a move. At this point, I had gotten a move controller, a couple move controllers. I got a couple of the rifles. Uh, I, I'm buying move games. They're cheap. I'm going to uh, these game stores in Pennsylvania, just press play. And the move controllers, everything's cheap there. I think it still is, guys, if you're looking for some of this stuff. I'm buying uh, like a, like the box, like the move controller with like some bow and arrow game and like some other stuff. It's like 30 bucks, like complete in box. So, I mean, they still got some of that stuff. You guys might want to go there if you're looking for it. Okay, so I, you know, I'm having fun with this stuff. I got uh, House of the Dead Overkill. I got some other movie games, not all the movie games. I mean, I don't even have the the Michael Jackson experience. I saw it. I almost got it, but just mainly like the shooting, the, like the gallery shooters and the arcade shooters and the like on style games. I'm pretty much looking for stuff like that. And Time Crisis Rising Storm is at the top of my list. You know, I'm hearing about it. Everyone I know has it. I'm super late to the, to the show on this one. Um, but the thing about Time Crisis Rising Storm is, you know, the great thing about it is that it incorporated the move controls into uh, there's three games on this disc. You know, Time Crisis 4 that was released, I guess, as a standalone game is included as part of these three games. And then a new Time Crisis game, which I guess would be the newest one at this point. If you know anything about that, let me know in the comments. But this Time Crisis Rising Storm and then this other game that I'm not super familiar with it, it to, to, to this point right now is like my favorite game on that disc. But like Dead Storm Pirates, which is like a uh, kind of reminds me of like a Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean ride kind of deal, which sounds like it would suck, but just the way they pulled it off is uh is pretty cool. I, I liked what I played of it anyway. But so you had this Time Crisis Rising Storm. It has these move controls. That's great. The great thing about that is that a Gun Con three mainly the sensor for it that way it will actually work on your hd tv these things are insanely rare it took me forever to get one when i finally got mine just the other day at the flea market the guy had four gun con threes and, and then one sensor and i got my copy of time crisis rising storm at this point 33 dollars on ebay brand new i hopped on right when the price was skyrocketing on it um so thank god i got my copy of that but the guy's got the sensor. He's got the gun con. I grab one and one. I'll probably go back and get another one, honestly, because they're going to be there for a while. <laughs> I doubt someone's going to want any gun con threes without the sensor. But I said, how much, dude? And he's like, well, how much? How, how, what's it worth to you? You know, he's playing the game. You know, I'm like, well, you throw your number out there. And he's like, so I'm just like, all right, I'm, I'm done playing games. I'm just like, look, 60 bucks. He's like, all right, cool. It seems like a lot, right? That, that's what it was worth to me. That's what I felt like I would pay for it if I went on eBay one gun con three and a sensor is probably going to cost me more than 60 bucks. And then there's shipping and things, stuff like that to think about. And if it didn't work, I could get my money back easily. So there is that, you know, even now if the thing wouldn't work days later, you know, he would still give me my money back. So there is that. That's a good, uh, that's a good seller. So I bring my gun con three home. I got the sensor. Now I got my brand new sealed copy of time crisis rising storm. This is an occasion in which I would open a game like that because what it's probably what's that at this point or maybe maybe in a couple of months, that'll probably be like a hundred dollar game sealed like that, even though it's a PAL copy, because it's like the same game. It just has a different doesn't have the ESRB on it. It's got the Peggy. So bam, we already popped that open. Uh, what do I think of the game? I think it's good. The time crisis games are really arcadey with the ducking and reloading. That, that, that's real arcadey because I believe in the arcade you use the uh, the pedal. I talked a lot about that in the My Life in Gaming video, the pedal to duck. And there are uh, third-party uh, peripherals out there for previous PlayStation consoles that have this pedal. Um, that they're actually, there's some kind of new kit out there. People are modifying these old Time Crisis, uh, these gun kits. And they're using them for uh, like emulators, these PS1 emulators that can read this new light gun software some guy wrote. But I don't know anything about that. If you guys do, you know, leave the, uh, the info in the, in the comments. But um, yeah, there's supposed to be a new light gun thing for the, the Poly Mega that's supposed to work with like Saturn and PS1 games. That would be great because I got this copy of Elemental Gear Bolt on the PS1. You can play it with a DualShock, but... I've never been able to play it with like a real, a real like on. So that would be awesome. But yeah, um, the next best thing to that 
is what we got here on the PS3. Again, like Time Crisis Rising Storm. Now, the ducking and the reloading, like, like I said, that's real arcadey. But when it came down to just sitting down and having fun with this game, Dead Storm Pirates is just where it's at. Now, let me know, those of you guys that have owned this game forever. Like I said, I'm super late to the party with this, but what do you guys think about Time Crisis Rising Storm? Uh, should they port this game? You know, we don't really have anything like this on any modern gen systems. I mean, we have that PS4, I guess, PS5 uh, VR. Does that thing work on a PS5? I don't know. So I'm on a while back. We don't really have stuff like that. Now, we do have, they said that there's that House of the Dead uh, remake that's coming to the Switch. Not really sure how a Joy-Con would work with that or what kind of peripherals we're actually going to get to use with our Joy-Cons. Kind of interesting to think about. But anyway, interested to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Till next time, guys. Peace out.